Ayo Desumu is a very bright piece for the Chicago Bulls team. The rookie has been asked to do multiple things for this team this season, such as playmate, create his own shots, and attack the defense off the catch, defend the best ball handlers in the league, and annoy them. Ayo has just adapted to the NBA game as a rookie and has always been ready to step up for this team and with this Bulls team having championship aspirations, he serves as a glue guy, a key role piece as they battle through the playoffs. Ayo is a second round pick but he possesses so much great defensive traits that it doesn't even feel like he is actually a rookie. He is a great defender at the point of attack, great help defender, can play the passing lanes, great at navigating and fighting over screens, good communicator, can hold his own with just about anyone, doesn't matter how fast, how slow, how crafty a guy is, he looks to slow down just about anyone. He has really good hands and is able to strip the ball loose from players that's just not expecting it, has really good feet, recovers well and can just fly all over the court looking to close out on shooters, and even when he is beat, he is fighting, giving that effort to recover. And with guys like Lonzo Ball, Alex Caruso being out, he had to step up as this team's point guard and he has really held his own as a starter, can set up plays for his teammates, really good at finding the open man. Ayo has just been very efficient this season. He does need to improve on the free throw shooting, but he is averaging 8.2 points, 2.9 rebounds, and 3.1 assists on 52% from the field, 41% from three, and 67% from the free throw line. The timely passing and willingness to get his teammates involved has been key to his play. In the month of February, he averages 11 points, 7.4 assists, and 3.3 rebounds on 50% from the field and 36% from three. He has had multiple games this season with six or more assists. Ayo can just knock down that three ball when you need him to also, can attack closeouts off the dribble, and finish strong at the rim. He shows capability working in the pick and roll and making plays from there. He works well off ball as well, he knows when and when not to cut. He can also showcase that mid-range game, getting into pull up jumpers off the pick and roll. The 6'5 combo guard doesn't take much shots a night, but he is just playing within his role and what he is asked to do. We are going to look at the Bulls vs Hawks game and see the defensive intensity Ayo brings that makes him such a good defensive player. Ayo was tasked to guard Trey Young this game. The Hawks throughout the whole game looked to get Ayo to switch off of Trey and hunt for switches. Such as here, stagger screen for DeAndre Hunter into a double ball screen creates a switch of Ayo covering Hunter. On the second screen, Vucevic plays high at the level of the screen which opens up the role to Capella. Zach Levine already steps up as the low man, I like the early awareness here from Ayo, sees that Clint is looking at the corner so this is just a basic X out. Ayo sprints to close out on that corner and Zach will recover and switch on Hunter. Hunter does attack that closeout but Vucevic provides extra help in defending the floater. Ayo numerous times this game picks up Trey Young from the backcourt to pressure him and he just looks to keep a body in front of him at all times as much as he can. The off ball denial here from Ayo forces the Hawks to go into a blind pig action. Capella flashes to the three and gets the ball, Trey cuts off of that and gets the ball. And on this screen, Ayo wants to keep a body in front of Trey, looking to go under the screen, and he did that multiple times throughout the game. And as Trey gets the ball going right, Vucevic is there to pick up, so this gives Ayo time to recover and get back in front of him. The Bulls look to ice this next screen, Vucevic is not really in good position, no tag on the rolling Capella, and Javante Green does his best job here on the lob. Communication is everything in basketball, and it's not just that Ayo does it, it's the whole Chicago Bulls team that communicates well and they are a really good defensive team because of that. So possessions like this where early offense, the defense isn't all too set up yet, the Hawks get a drag screen, Ayo gets caught in the screen, so there's communication between Green and Ayo for Green to hard hedge, show himself, stick young until Ayo recovers. Green, already a good defender in his own right, holds his own against a Gallo Iso.
Trey Young here is able to bait Io into a foul. I'm not 100% sure where the foul is, but Trey Young gets these types of calls every game. It's one of the reasons why he is so tough to stop, so tough to guard. And stuff like this can be demoralizing for a young player like Io. Like, what am I supposed to do if he's going to get foul calls like this? But one thing I like about him, he doesn't get rattled. He doesn't let those types of calls affect his play. Next possession, goes under that screen, keeping his body in front of Young, moves his feet, looking to keep up with Young. With Young driving inside, draws the help of Vucevic. This is a shot Young can make, but he can't get in further and misses this floater. The Hawks end up getting the ball back, inbound to Capella. Ayo gets over this Gallo screen. He quick glances at Capella, sees that he wants to get that ball to Trey Young. So he rushes over, smacks that ball loose, forcing Young to pick up in the backcourt. Now okay, Ayo didn't get the steal here, but still sticks him, focused. Goes under the screen, chasing Young on his hip, but using those arms to his advantage, even though he isn't in front of Young. Then on the shot attempt, challenges the shot and forces a miss. Ayo uses those arms to his advantage as he trails the ball screen here. He's in jail, but fights to get in front. As Bogey stops in the paint and looks to go into a mid-range shot, Ayo gets a strong rear view contest, forcing Bogey into a miss. Trey Young is a tough cover, so he will get his. In transition, as Ayo slides back, Trey Young attacks that top foot with a crossover, creates space on that step back, but can't connect on that jumper. Stuff like this happens too. Trey Young, very crafty. The Hawks get Trey coming off an exit screen. Ayo trails just a bit but recovers. He's on Trey's hips, but gets his arms out to try and deny a pass out to Capella. Trey, still crafty, is able to bait Ayo into jumping and gets a foul call on the play. Trey here is able to beat Ayo off the Capella ghost screen. Young gets downhill. Ayo looks to switch and cut off Capella, and Vucevic would pick up Young. But there's no contest, and Young gets a floater. Now, contrast that to a play later where Ayo here sticks Young throughout. He trails him after the screen, sees that Trey is picking up his dribble at the nail. Again, uses his arms to good use, understands that Young is looking to get that floater off and Ayo isn't in front of him. Making plays on the defensive end, he blocks this shot even though it seemed like he was getting beat and just not giving up on the play. Ayo conceded to some of the switches this game but a guy like Javante Green can hold his own well. The Hawks look to go to a Gallo Iso. Ayo moves his feet well, beating Gallo to a spot, getting him off balance, not fouling, smart double by the Bulls. Gallo isn't expecting a double as he is looking down at the basketball. Levine comes in and rips this, forcing a bad shot, and it leads to the Bulls getting a green dunk. Ayo goes under both ball screens here. It opens up a potential pull-up three for Trey Young. But Ayo has his arms out, pops out of this screen, gets a strong contest on the shot, and forces Young into a bad miss. Great defense here by the Bulls on the Spain pick and roll. Levine calls out the switch. He picks up Trey. Ayo picks up Bogey. Vucevic does trail Capella slightly, but Kobe White does a great job, jumps into the paint, takes away the Capella roll. Now kick out to Gallo and just check the off-ball denial from Ayo on Bogey. Makes it hard to go into a handoff and he is still denying him, jumping out and showing his right arm. So the Hawks go into an ISO with Gallo on Green. Green does hold his own here, but really nice step through by Gallo and he scores. The pesky defense here, hounding Trey Young over those screens, then finally concedes his switch on Gallo, looks to front Gallo in the post, and gets him to catch the ball a bit further out. Ayo is looking to get low, squares up to him, but does unfortunately foul on the jump shot here by Gallo. Now everyone will talk about the DeRozan game winner here, but Ayo plays like this, says he wants Trey Young down the stretch, no switching, 108-107 with around 40 seconds to go. Double ball screen here on the first screen, check how he tells Green, hey, I got him, I want him, stay on Gallo. Second screen, he gets over, so they look to re-screen. 
He fights over that as Vucevic looks to hedge just a bit. Trey Young is able to size him up, create some space on that snatchback cross. Io looks to recover, so he drives inside, slides his feet well here, sticks Trey, absorbs the contact, also making Trey feel him. And here, really, really tough shot. This isn't an ideal spot to take a layup from. Io again uses those arms to contest, forcing Trey Young into a miss and gets the rebound. And on the other end, gets it to the hot hand. DeMar DeRozan has just been insane this season. Already did a video on him if you want to check it out. And DeMar just hits this big time clutch shot down the stretch. That'll wrap it up for this video. How far do you think the Chicago Bulls will go this season? Do you think they can make the conference finals or even the NBA finals? Also, how do you view Io as a player? Do you think he will be a star one day? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please do like and subscribe to the channel if you like NBA content like this. And with all that being said, I'll see you all in the next video.